What's up, what's happening, what's going on, Cantaloupes? Uh, live broadcasting leaves a lot of opportunity for mistakes. Also, slip-ups, aka saying things that you thought you meant, but you did it. I'm Mike Cantaloupeo, and today we present the 10 best sexual slip-ups in sports broadcasting history. Sexual qualifying. Uh, apparently, golf has some new qualifying rules. Head to www.usopen.com. Everything will be there. The entire days of sexual qualifying. All right, we're going to take a look at some more of the results today, guys. Let's start overseas in England. From the titty. <laughs> Not really a slip up. Reggie Miller says it as it is. Corner or the longer three when you get around the titty. <laughs> hey, that's what shooters call it. Okay. Hey, I really that's the short three that's in the corner or the longer three when you get around the titty. <laughs> hey, that's what shooters call it. Uh, that term. You know, uh, Charles? Titty on the basketball court before. <laughs> well, you were talking about Kenny. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. My goodness. This guy's name is Curtis Strange, so you shouldn't really expect anything less than this. My goodness. The corner for Birdie. Probably 25 feet down the hill a little bit. Judged. Only 18 years old. My goodness, would it be nice to do that? Be that again. Do you remember? The 69ers. Oh, you can see she started off so strong, but maybe she's a psychic and knows a future expansion team owned by Gronk. Monday, they could play either the Boston Celtics or the Philadelphia 69ers. They could play either the Boston Celtics or the Philadelphia 69ers. The best defense. Thank you, Solomon Wilcox. That's a bold strategy that may just end up working. Work for the Jaguar, Kevin. Today, the defense wants to come in the face of the quarterback, Andrew. Defense wants to come in the face of the quarterback, Andrew. Seaman. Seaman. Oh, that's bad. Uh, this broadcaster was put in charge of navigating a broadcast with a player named Seaman on the field. So he was doomed from the start. From the 22 for Northern Iowa. Pump big pressure. Sack. Seaman is right there for his first sack of the afternoon for Southern Illinois. Bex Northern Iowa back to the Dogs 28 yard line. Nice job by Jason Seaman right there getting in the face of Tyler, Tyrell Rennie. Seemed like Tyrell Rennie was in there like he had all day. It was just pressure coming in his face. You can see right from the bottom of your screen. In his face, he had to see Seaman right there, just not did not have enough time to tuck the ball and try to get some positive yardage. ESPN News. Yep, nobody watches ESPN News. I'm not even sure if it's still on. The truth is, I don't even really think she was lying with what she said, especially given the time period. Michael Vick's legal troubles don't start and end with the federal indictment against him. According to Friday's Atlanta Journal-Constitution, the state of Virginia is going to seek to indict Dick Vick for dogfighting and killing dogs, both state felonies. Congrats on the sex. Uh, this is something I literally wouldn't be remotely surprised to hear come out of the mouth of the President of the United States. Andy Brinkley, on the other hand, I'm shocked. Two of the best, two of the most complete forwards in the game, and Pavel Datsuk and Henrik Zetterberg. They've had tremendous sex against, uh, success against the Phoenix Coyotes in their careers, but the numbers are down this year. Hey, Jason, the editor, uh, could you give me your best impression of Donald Trump saying tremendous sex? I feel like you'd do an okay job. I have tremendous sex. I have the best sex out there. Nobody has sex better than me. Tremendous sex. You have sex, but mine's better. Okay. Thanks. Blazers or brazers? Ah! Oh, I like that title. I crack myself up sometimes. Uh, it's my new favorite defensive technique, courtesy of Christine Nubla. Fun. I just finished talking with assistant coach Jim Ion and asked him what he liked, didn't like about that first half. He thought defensively the team started slowly not picking up Portland's uh, double penetration, dribble penetration that is, double penetration, double penetration. <laughs> Uh, double penetration, dribble penetration, that is. Offensively. Thank you, Denver. Leave it to the Rocky Mountain High City. Uh, just, I congratulate her too, honestly. 
one. We'll toss it back to you guys. And uh, Aaron, again, congratulations on your big Hooters. Uh, the uh, ho oh, Hoosiers you, win. You said what? Wow, that was a slip of the tongue. What was yeah. that again? The Hoosiers who won. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's Anyways, yeah, that'll be on YouTube. I was gonna say. <laughs> Anyways, back to you. Before I say anything else, I'll just close my mouth. It, <laughs> it's chilly out here. You know, it's hard to talk sometimes. I know the oh cold can God. sometimes affect you, but I'm definitely going to go to the workout room today. Thanks after a lot. The show. All right. <laughs> I, apparently, I've got something to take care of. And he. <laughs> By the other word that he said, he meant Hoosiers. Hoosiers. That's right? <laughs> what he was talking about, right? I think. I, I think. feel like my face is totally red right now. <laughs> that is live television, folks. Take it away. What other sexual slip ups have there been? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. I tried to keep it short, uh, my talking, because, like, you just want to hear the other people talk, right? Eh, okay. Until next time, I'm Mike Caleb. Thanks for watching.